Hello, everyone. This is James Nussbaumer of jamesnussbaumer.com, and this is another episode of my video blog called Freedom Lover and Miracles. You know, I want to start this off by saying, uh, first of all, I need to introduce my, my books, uh, The Master of Everything, A Story of Mankind in the World of Illusion that we call Life. This is the pilot of an ever-developing series that I'm so proud of, and it is contained, uh, it is concerning the lessons contained in A Course in Miracles, which is my lifelong lesson. Uh, and the second book, the sequel, which just came out, Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom, Lessons from A Course in Miracles, but real life uh, uh, examples of what led me to A Course in Miracles, these two books were written in prison while I was doing eight years for a foolish securities violation as a financial advisor. But if you already know me, then you know that. And if you want to know more about that and you don't know me, in the first book, that whole story is contained right here with a lot of gory details of the prison environment, too. And uh, But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I've been getting some messages on Facebook where I, I frequent a lot. You know, I've got 5,000 uh, friends on Facebook and, and a following on my business page, and I get a lot of tweets on uh, Twitter. and But mainly from Facebook this week, they're saying, you know, Jim... Uh, we love your YouTube videos that you're just starting because I'm kind of new to YouTube. But why don't you have a couple of different YouTube channels? Because I'm talking about uh, passive income online. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm talking about um, uh, essential oils that I'm fond of and, and smash fun funding your dreams, which is crowdfunding. And, and I'm promoting my books that are based on the lessons of A Course in Miracles. And why don't you have a separate channel for each one of these things is what – uh, this gentleman had suggested and he was just trying to help me and I responded back after thinking about it but I really did not need to think about it too much because I had already once thought about that in my mind and um, the reason is is because everything that I talk about relates to miracles because uh, we need the funding to promote our craft that we love so we can live our true free will uh, I believe in the in the essential oils because it's a reflection of our inner reality reflected outward and, and it's it's a healing process of, of the physical that we do within reflecting the natural beauty that we are and another woman uh, wrote to thank me saying because uh, I made a post on Facebook by the way saying hey, if anybody's seen my YouTube channels give me some comments do you think I should have separate channels but this woman from Goose Creek South Carolina. She just moved over from Europe, and now she's in Goose Creek. She's got the German kind of an accent, um, but she has a daycare center that she started in Europe, a daycare franchise that she had started in Europe, brought it to South Carolina, uh, and she is now starting that, what she did in Europe. Uh, her husband had got transferred over in, with his company, and so she had to come along, and she um, and, and so they moved here, and she's happy there. So she's starting this uh, child care franchise, the same thing she did over in Europe, and it's going well. And it was based on uh, a system for achieving what you want in life that I turned her on to, and she called to thank me. And by the way, she sent me in the mail, she has my physical address, this book by, you know, the old philosopher Homer, The Odyssey. And she found it in a garage sale, believe it or not. And I started reading it, and boy, is it ever deep. It's, 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 on, the, it's on the deep same deep level as A Course in Miracles. But her point was is that, you know, she, she found this, and she got so much out of this book. She, she paid 10 cents for it at a garage sale, and she, she, she read it over and over for like a year, and she sent it to me saying, Jim, I'm done with it. I want you to have this. I'm passing it on to you. And there she's creating a miracle. She's extending. And when we extend our love and we overlook the, the bad things that go on and the errors that we make in our mind, that, that is forgiveness and that's where miracles go. So anyway, she suggested, no, I, I'm starting to love your YouTube videos. Keep doing it the way you're doing it, Jim, because it's going to catch on. And, uh, and, and, and that's what I had already decided in my mind. 
And I wanted to read you real quick, too, uh, something from A Course in Miracles, this old condensed version, version here that if you really read my book, The Master of Everything, this book here, the first book, the pilot of the series, then you will know how this book that you're seeing right here, this raggedy old yellow stain uh, thing I ran into, how I stumbled into A Course in Miracles. But speaking of what, of what my friend from Goose Creek had said, I just want to read you this real quick. There, and this is, this is from A Course in Miracles. There is a tendency to fragment and then to be concerned about the truth of just a little part of the whole. And this is but a way of avoiding or looking away from the whole to what you think you might be better able to understand. For this is but another way in which you would still try to keep understanding to yourself. A better and far more helpful way to think of miracles is this. You do not understand them, either in part or in whole, yet they have been done through you. Therefore, your understanding cannot be necessary. Yet it is still impossible to accomplish what you do not understand, and so there must be something in you that does understand, and that something was spelled with a capital S, as in divine. There must be something in you that does understand my age yellow copy of the Course of Miracles. So my whole point is, is that something is telling me that I need to keep my YouTube channel going, everything combined together because everything is relating and feeding off of each other. And uh, <clears throat> the, real, the whole main point of my YouTube channel really is to get my word out about what I've learned and that's why I've written these books, Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom, which is just now released just this month. Uh, in fact, it is still on back order, but I've got my author copies now. This is the sequel, and Mastering, The Master of Everything has been on sale for a year now. On sale everywhere books are sold, and by Ozark Mountain Publishing Company. And it's going great so far. Um, I just wanted to extend that on to you, and also, too, I wanted to I wanted to read something to you out of mastering your own your own spiritual freedom. You simply cannot have a belief in what you do not want along with a belief in what you do want. These two systems of belief cannot coexist. It is really this simple. If you continually search after what you do not truly want, you will always get more of it. Now please bear with me here for a second. If you will consciously bring out what you do want and face it up against what you do want. I'm sorry, if you will consciously bring out what you do not want and face it up against what you do want, your undesirables will instantly turn into nothingness. Anything that you truly do not want is not God's will. Therefore, it is not your true free will. I hope that makes sense. And I can be reached for comment at jamesnussbomber.com. The link to my website, as always, is in the description box down below. I'd love to get your comments. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for following me on YouTube. Please spread the word so I can build my YouTube channel and get the word out. I'm so excited about all of this. Thank you again.